Welcome to the final day of our week on greed and envy. The roots of envy actually begin early as we are compared to other kids our age. Our value was measured, think back, our value was measured by how much dumber or smarter we were on a test, how much weaker or stronger we were doing pull-ups in gym. Ugh, how I remember those. Comparing becomes so ingrained in us at an early age that we react with painful envy to protect ourselves. Proverbs has it right when the writer says, a heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. Yep, envy rots your bones. That's the effect it can have on us. It's my perception of your good over which I then brood to the point that your good prevents me from enjoying my own. Taken to extremes, I will act out with gossip to hurt you. Three strategies to rid yourself of the pain or strengthening of the relationship to the one you've envied. Here they are. Do you feel it's affecting your bones? I hope so, because it's the beginning of transformation. The first is name and claim your envy. Don't be embarrassed. Name it and claim it. Second, focus on your own positive attributes or discount the importance of what I'm envying in my neighbor. Either one works. Third, see what my envy is causing me. The acid stomach, the sleepless nights, the ongoing worry and repent of it. Jesus, I'm sorry. What my envy sparks in me is what I value. That's a positive thing. And then that can serve me as a motivation to pursue what I envy in you for myself. Yeah, you can unhook from envy. The virtue for the vice of envy is simply kindness. I know it sounds simple. Just be kind. Make a kind statement about the one you envy or share with that person the very thing you envy. It's the beginning of lifting the burden in you and reestablishing the relationship. That promise can be met. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the many good things you give us, our faith, our family, our children, our love of Jesus. Help us to see in those we envy the very thing we value. May that insight be a motivation to work for us to achieve as well. We pray in gratitude through Christ our Lord. Amen.